Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website and online presence. So I guess that's basically a little update about what has been going on recently. I also started a new full-time job, so that's where like all of my energy and time has been focused on. It's kind of changed a lot of things up, like you gotta see this. So this is the current state of my room. I have more screens than the average tech bro and it's consumed my entire life. Hello, it's been so long since I've filmed myself, but here I am now. Um, I'm also just trying to get used to this new camera I have, but I finally got a new camera. Here's my sweet old boy who is retired now. I'm probably gonna still use this one for like just photos and whatnot, but this was like such a hassle to film with for a long time because I stupidly ran over my camera and this is the <laughs> these are the consequences. Hopefully this is like more higher quality and it's nicer and all that because this camera is very nice and also very expensive. But hello, welcome back to another week. I haven't done a lot really in terms of like art or um, like personal art I guess because I've been working pretty hard full time and focusing a lot about that and also focusing on my life more. I've been hanging out with a lot of friends, which is really nice. Tiff came over for the week from Vegas and it was really nice seeing her again. I also met up with the Megans, Megan Saran and Studio Maggie. It's been really nice hanging out with them. Megan moved over from New York, so it's been really nice just kind of like showing her around LA. And it's also nice for me because I feel like I've just been so isolated to the east side of LA for so long. So it's kind of like a nice journey for myself as well. <laughs> I also met up with Cam, or she goes by Bao Mi, and it was just like a really nice time to meet all these internet friends. And speaking about internet mutuals and whatnot, I got some pretty fun things in the mail recently that I wanted to share. And then the first one is actually from Natasha Satrums. Ah! But I ordered some stickers from her and also her sad shrimps t-shirt it's so cute and also i just love the way that like she packages things and i'm just forever grateful natasha if you're watching this thank you so much i also just really like learning from other people's uh ways of packaging because like this color is like the color that i think of when i think of the sad shrimp and other international mail that I got recently is from Jisupi. Jisoo? I haven't opened this yet, but man, the packaging is great. It's so cute, like I don't even want to open it, but I love it. I got some enamel pins from her, and I love how the backings are the heart-shaped rubber stops. She painted this really cute painting. Oh, I'm excited to frame this. Mm, I'm such a fan of both Natasha and Jisoo. They have such like very relatable content <laughs> and I'm just really grateful to be able to create in a space that is so very welcoming and inspiring with all these creators that are so nice and I'm just in a happy spot and a happy place today. And also I got this um original from one of my really good friends, Brit. So Brit, she goes by Gaja Illustrations, is a very close friend. She's very into opossums and little critters and trash pandas and 
This is just like one of my favorite pieces from her and I'm glad I got it. This is just like a really sweet piece and I love the way that she illustrates and I can't wait to frame this one too. <laughs> it's still cute. That's like this. That's cute. It looks like Halloween. <laughs> uh oh, did I put too much water? Before we move on further, I just want to take some time to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. As you know already, I've been using Squarespace myself for the past few years for my own portfolio site, and it's been a blast. So if you don't know about Squarespace, it is an online platform for you to make the website of your dreams, whether it be for a shop, your portfolio, or anything in between. Their platform and interface is really great and easy to use, and they've got a lot of startup templates for you to choose from. What's cool about Squarespace is that you can also customize the mobile and web browser versions so that you get the perfect fit for whatever browser you're viewing from. So if you're interested in making your own website, you could head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, you could go to squarespace.com slash thanks you for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you again to Squarespace for being the sponsor, and now, Let's get back to this video. Hi, hello. I feel like today has been very scattered, or I've been very scattered brain today, but I at least managed to get some things done, which are, you know, these paintings. I really like how these guys turned out. These two here are more like bubblegum pop, and I had a really fun time with experimenting with the colors because it's like really bright and just things that I, or like color palettes that I'm not super super fond of because I would like to use like more muted colors but this is just super fun and then this one here is almost done I just wanted to take a break from it but I like how it is now because it's kind of just like the shadow tones of some plants that I got recently 
and I love the overall shape of it. Another kind of fun thing, I guess, is that I got this scanner recently. I did a poll on Instagram to see like what the best scanner is or which scanner people prefer the most. And I finally got one because out of the many years of me being an artist and also attending art college, I just never had a scanner of my own and I would just take really janky photos with my iPhone camera. <laughs> so it's time for an upgrade and to actually be professional about things. So yeah, that way I can scan these guys in for my own files and also scan my sketchbooks. Here is the current state of the room. It's not bad. It's, you know, my regular kind of cluttered mess, but I really need like this center workspace to be a lot better. I just need to utilize this table space a little bit more efficiently because this is kind of weird. I also have this weird space problem where I have to have my stick cutter on the floor next to the trash. Hi, Dumpling. How are you? This one's a older one that I started in 2017 and I haven't touched in since 2017 so I restarted this one but this is my main most recent one and I'm kind of just utilizing both at the same time right now. But I've got a lot of fun little pages that you could see on Patreon. I'll be scanning all these pages for the first time and then uploading it there. This one's a lot more journal-like in style, and it's more personal, but I kind of like to doodle here and there. That's me! There's a chance I'll never be one with my body But there's a light on the surface of the back water above me seeing on TikTok, people are recreating this dish from Pepper Lunch, which is like a pretty well-known Japanese place, franchise, and they have this thing called Pepper Lunch, or the beef pepper rice, which is a very yummy and simple dish, so I kind of wanted to try and make it today, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna taste really good. And also, I got Cupy Mail. The best thing about Cupy Mail is the freaking packaging. It's like so cute. I don't really know what it is that's in Cupy Mail that makes it so good, but it's definitely the superior mayonnaise.
been really able to talk about it yet because I realized that I haven't been filming for a while, but I did make September art mail for Patreon and this is like very different from what I've been doing kind of more recently. I was kind of like just very distraught over how all of my stuff has been like super cutesy and it feels like I haven't been really making it with the mindset of like trying to make something for my own self or something that is like very satisfying to me. So I went with something like this. It just feels like less constraining. I've been playing around with like bende dots and trying a more like retro style and I think they turned out really nice. These just came in today and the colors are a little dark but I feel like that adds more to like the retro vibe. And then this is the print for this month. It's a very spooky, nostalgic kind of vibe. I was so hesitant about posting this because it's just like such a far departure from what I have been doing and like just color palette wise, you know? Well, but overall, I still feel like it's a part of me. Tiff kind of pointed it out. She said like, it's not necessarily like a complete shift in style for me. It reminds her of my old work and I was like, that's really nice. It kind of touched me. So yeah, by the time I post this video, it's probably going to be October. So these won't be available, but they'll still be available on the Patreon secret shop. And I think I'll like be bringing this to my shop one day, maybe later on in the year. Yeah. The light today is like insane. I also got some new mailers. These are just the same design that I had before, but I made it like a lighter brown color, which is kind of nice. It's like a little more subtle than just black. And yeah, this box is bigger for addresses and I think this overall design worked well, so I kept it for now. But yeah, always buying more mailers. My friend came over and picked up her plants because I've been taking care of I think like four or five of her plants for the past year and so in return she got me this little pink polka dot plant and I love this little planter it's got tiny feet little nubs he will live here on a table that is not a table if you know, you know. So I finished these up about a few days ago, but I realized um, I'm still not really used to the filming process of um, like the overhand overlay with this new camera because this camera is like pretty heavy, but I got a little bit of footage in and I just did a lot of more drawing off screen, but these two are gonna be the next month's uh, Patreon stickers. I think I might noodle with them a little more before I send them off to production. But yeah, I decided to go with a lot of ghosty themes and the rain doll shapes. If you don't know what like rain dolls are, they're very ghosty-like, but they're kind of like good luck charms, I think. 
but they're very sweet overall and I'm trying to do a lot more different things with my textures and my effects this time around like this one has a very glitchy um, line work and I feel like that could be really interesting just to like spice things up but yeah I still have to make some more things for patreon I'm working on this print right now I'm not really sure how I'm loving it it's okay I think I'm a little lost I think I need to like go back and figure out really what I want. But I did start making some art for the next shop update. And I kind of went a little crazy with it just because it took like a lot of like mental power to just like imagine what this would be like because I'm doing two different glow in the dark stickers. This one's the first one. I think this one's one of my favorites. I love how it's like a little more subtle and um, simple but it like conveys a point and then it would look like kind of like this when it glows in the dark this is just like the preliminary sketch and whatnot oh, look at that texture y'all <laughs> and then this next one is kind of like a little crazy i'm still really iffy about it i asked a few friends and i also asked the patreon discord like how do you feel about this because I don't know really but it's this and hopefully this frame works because I already have some issues with the manufacturer about the cut line being too intricate so maybe I have to cut back on this a little bit but overall I'm pretty happy with this I stayed up until 4 a.m. last night trying to do this so I hope it's worth it <laughs> But yeah, it looks like a lot of things for the shop update is coming together smoothly. I'm gonna try to like create more as I go because it's literally the last day of September and I have so much shit to do and I'm like, well, first I'm really caffeine high right now and like a little anxious. So <sighs> things will be okay. I'm gonna get things done. It's gonna be a great shop update and it's gonna be a great month. <laughs> yeah i'm pretty like overwhelmed with things right now it's the end of the week i have to get out this entire video by tonight or tomorrow morning wish me luck <laughs> so i think i'm gonna end it here um yeah overall i'm kind of just like slowly getting into routine of things again hopefully and life goes on life is so interesting these days that is a weird motto of mine for some reason. <laughs> Please take care. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and stay hydrated. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. There's a chance I'll never be born with my body.